hashing and sorting passwords. For that, let's install bcrypt first. So that's npm i bcrypt or npm install bcrypt. If you don't know what hashing and sorting is, hashing takes data of arbitrary size and converts it into fixed size value. So it takes the plain text password that the user types in and converts it into ciphertext. This already sounds a bit more secure for the user, right? And then we can improve it further by adding salt to the hashed password. Sorting refers to random characters being added to the hashed passwords. So this makes it even harder for hackers to get to the user's password. It's not impossible, of course, but much, much, much harder. If you're interested in cryptography, there's a really good article written by Auth0, actually. I'll link it below. It's very interesting. Anyway, we're using the clever little package bcrypt to help us with hashing and sorting. I've seen password sorting and hashing being done in different types of files. If you have a schema, I think it makes sense for it to be in a schema. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to import it in the schema like this. And then we can use the mongoose pre method before saving the password. So we can include what we want to do to the password before it saves the password via a callback function. The next parameter tells Mongoose you're done and ready to move to the next step in the execution chain. The this is Reference a value here. that depends on the context in which it appears. So it may depend on the function, the class or global. In a function, the value of this depends on how a function is called at runtime known as runtime binding and it may be different each time that the function is called mdn goes into a lot of detail on this so i'll link that below in our callback function we're saying that the user is this particular user object that the function is accessing on and if the password has been modified so if the user has opted to update their password or if it's a brand new user i.e. a new user has signed up, we can hash and sort the password. We start by setting up the number of sort rounds, which is typically 10. Sort rounds is how much time it takes to calculate a single bcrypt hash. The more time, the more difficult it will be for hackers. A sort round of 10 means the calculation is done 2 to the power of 10 times, which is about a thousand times. This is okay for a single login, but poses a much bigger problem for hackers who are trying millions of possible password combinations to figure out the right one. If there is a sort error, we essentially stop the process. Otherwise, we generate the hash with bcrypt's hash method, which takes the user's password, the sort generated earlier as parameters, and ultimately returns the hash, which we set as the user's password instead. If the user has not opted to update their password, or if the user is not a new user signing up, we don't hash or sort anything, so we simply return next. When we try it now, you can see that the hashed and sorted password looks like this. This is much more secure for the user because even we, as administrators of this web app, can't see what the actual password for the user is. Now that we don't know what the user's password is, how do we check that it's the correct password when the user logs in again? Here's how. We first add the compare password method to the user model. Then we use bcrypt's built-in compare method, which takes the password being entered when the user logs in and the hashed password to see if it's a match.
we then need to use this information in our backend login route. So in our API folder, within the user folder in login.js line 13, instead of this comparator here, we do user.compare password feeding in the password. If there is a match error, we return a failure message. If there is not a match, we return the same message. If it is a match, we send the user info to the front end to make it more personalized for the user. And that's it, hashing and sorting. Now your sign up and login system is well seasoned.